is Tallulah and this is my kitchen and my vlog. Welcome back darling, bienvenue, on est tous là. Moi et Lulu. Now, this has nothing to do with the Feathers and Toast franchise. Oh, that makes it sound like a restaurant. But this is my vlog. Not to be confused with the two. This is where we start the revolution in earnest, saving the world one sandwich at a time on our fight against mediocrity, depression, and overall apathy of life, darling. Stick that on a bumper sticker and smoke it. So here we are carrying on our mission. And today, ladies and gentlemen, this week, I'm answering the question of Anthony Davis, who wrote in to me asking how he could feel more confident in social situations. Now this is a very universal problem, I would say, first off, Anthony, you are not alone in this issue. A lot of people have issues with confidence, it's a very hard thing to pull off. The main thing about confidence is you have to know yourself. You have to be good in your own skin. Because the thing is, you should know your, be, be yourself because everyone else is taken. I mean, that really is on a bumper sticker, I'm sure I've read that somewhere. Uh, but that is key. Because then that follows through all these next points that I'm going to give you about confidence. You have to know yourself, your own tastes, and what you like to talk about, wear, do, drink, and whatnot. And therefore, it will become fun because you're not trying to be anyone else. So, now that we've got that main umbrella out of the way, I'd say underneath that, you clothes. Clothes are very important. Let's have a scenario like we're going to go to a party tonight on our own. A little intimidating, probably. Um, so I would say dress up, wear whatever makes you feel good. And this is really key. You know, when I first moved to LA, I had the sort of situation of I needed to dress up all the time, but actually I just needed to feel confident with whatever I was wearing because literally you could wear a pair of shorts or Lululemons on the red carpet and nobody would be the wiser. As long as you did it with chutzpah, darling, that is what is key. And that is what is magnetic, in fact, about you. So. Wear whatever makes you feel good. Now, I have a bit of an issue with a croc, for example, but if you are partial to plastic footwear, then wear it. Wear it, wear it. I mean, I don't, there is a limit. I'm not sure I would encourage Holster with a flip-flop any more than she's already doing. But the thing is, you've got to find your own favorite footwear and go with that with aplomb. The second thing I would say about confidence is Listen to some music before you step out of the door that makes you feel confident. You know, like your rallying cry. You know, I think on battlefields they have bugles and things that, that make people feel excited to be there and to fight. And so obviously you're not going to fight, you're going to a little party to have a canopy and an hors d'oeuvre. But uh, the same idea. So now my songs, for example, are, uh, you know, from Evita, that So Christian Dior, me, from my head to my toe, because I like thinking about things like that. And then I also have, uh, you know, Razzle Dazzle Them from um, the playlist of Chicago, because that's all about razzling and dazzling people. But you, Anthony, and anyone else may prefer something like Eye of the Tiger. Yeah, I knew somebody that that was his song for rallying his confidence. So find yourself a confidence-inducing song. Now, if all those things work, don't work, well actually, even if they do work, if you want to be extra, extra confident tonight, Anthony, and anyone else that's needing a boost, I am going to prescribe to you my confidence-building sandwich. One day, that will be in neon lights. Not over my house, obviously, but some other shack on the beach. Uh, right, so yeah, the confidence-inducing sandwich. Okay, now these foods, now you may need a pen and a pencil to note these down. I'll put them in the bit below if you get confused. There's only a few ingredients. You need bread, obviously now any bread does the trick. Uh, dark chocolate, anything over 70%, and strawberries, organic or otherwise, and coconut water. Now, this is a sandwich, I like to toast it. You put the bread in the toaster, then you melt the chocolate. Now, you can melt the chocolate in a microwave or in a pot on the stove, or you know, if you're in a particularly hot country, just put it outside of your door, and I'm sure it'll melt in a moment. And then spread the dark chocolate on your bread, slice up your um, you know, strawberry, put the strawberry on, put the other bread on, Bob's your uncle. Sip a bit of, you know, what's it called, coconut water, and if you really need a bit more confidence, stick a celery stick in it and munch that, because that are all confidence-inducing foods, and you shall be the belle of the ball. Anthony, let me know how it goes. Bon appétit, and I shall see you next week.